Hello YouTube, it's 55 Super Shadow, and um, today, oh jeez, I am going to be doing, well, showing you, um, my collection of Genesis games, let me get that out of the way, um, yeah, I have quite a few, more than I have PlayStation 3 games, but, anyway, let's begin. The first game I have is Road Rash. Road Rash is interesting because it is 3D attempted and it's not bad it is pretty fun and I was lucky enough when I bought it at my game store for it oh geez to come with the manual and um I and it's one of these older looking games different kind of Genesis game so um yeah it's not bad it's pretty fun there's I think there's a, there's a second one and yeah so that's Road Rash my next game is Sonic and Knuckles um, Sonic and Knuckles is fun, because you can play with, like, Sonic 3 and Sonic 2 and stuff. And, um, I like, I like this, how this is interesting, how you can have this top part, and you can hook, like, Sonic 2 in, like I said, and play Sonic 2 and Knuckles. And it is fun alone, but it's better when you have Sonic 3, because it was all supposed to be one game, but the Genesis couldn't handle it, so they did this. The next game will be, um, it's gonna be kind of a quick video. Um... Mickey Mouse World of Illusion um starring Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. Honestly, I know I kind of I'm kind of old for Mickey Mouse, but this game never gets old. Okay, this game is so fun. I had to get this game. It's just it is very fun. So um yeah, I had to get this game. It's worth it. It's fun. It's addictive and it's better with two players. Um next game is Power Rangers. This is actually my brother's game. It's okay. It's just we kind of. My brother got it because he likes it. I'm not too much of a fan of it. Um, yeah. Then he has this Power Rangers too. I'm not gonna go too much over that. Um, got the Lion King. This game is actually hard. Me and my brother haven't gotten past the first like three levels. So um, yeah, it's kind of hard. <laughs> Haven't gotten very far in it, but, you know, whatever, I guess. Still fun to play here and there. Um, the next game we will do is Toy Story. Toy Story is another one of those games that you don't think would be fun because it seems like it's a little kiddish, but it's fun. I was so glad that I bought it. Um, I got it off the internet, and it's addicting, and me and my brother beat it for the first time. I have a walkthrough video on YouTube, I just don't think I ever finished the walkthrough because my camera was terrible. And I have an iPod to record it with. So yeah, that's Toy Story. Next game, I got this recently, is Mortal Kombat. Mine's in not so great condition that I got. But um, it's fun, has good cheats, and it's Genesis, so it has the blood. Unlike freaking um, other, um, like the NES did not have blood on it. Um... Except you have to activate the cheat to get blood, but not an NES. NES has, had, has no blood at all, so, yeah, it's pretty fun. And now we'll get to the good games. The first game, well, not good games, I like all of these, but these are my favorites, besides Sonic and Knuckles. Um, so already, having already talked about Sonic and Knuckles, I'm going to show Sonic the Hedgehog next. Because, like I said, I'm a big fan of Sonic, and that's why I like these the best. Um, I have the case for this one, because I'm kind of lucky if I find the case. Um, of course, the game that started it all, and it is very fun to play. I love it, but personally, not my favorite Sonic, Sonic Genesis game, but it still is a good one. That's what it looks like. It's hard to see, whatever. So, yeah, that's Sonic 1, Sonic the Hedgehog. You can play with Sonic um, and Knuckles. Um, the next game, I'm going right in order here besides Sonic and Knuckles, is Sonic 2. Don't have the case for this, but um, this is actually the only game I've had that I haven't bought in from a store. I actually got from my uncle, I want to say. So, yeah, because my, when I had my Genesis before, my grandma threw out the games thinking it was broken and it wasn't. So, um,. I went out and bought all those other games that we had before, 
And this one was the only one that survived because it stayed in the Genesis and it went through winter and stuff. I'm surprised. Our Genesis went through winter in a shed and it still works. And so did this game. And last but not least is Sonic 3, like I said, right in order. Sonic 3 is fun because, like I said, you can play it with Sonic and Knuckles. It looks like that. And what you do, you can do this with, like, any game, but it only is going to work with Sonic 3, 2, and 1. 1, you have to do something special for it to for you to be able to play a game, but it's not, like, actually, like, Sonic and Sonic 1 where you knuckles. Oh my god. Okay, so you got to open this top part. Okay, whatever, I'll just do that. And you got to take the game, and you have to put it in the top. Like that. And then you play, um, what it does is you go through, if you start a new file, you go through Sonic 3 first, and if you get all the emeralds, you turn super. Then you go through Sonic and Knuckles, and you start out being able to go super, and if you get all the emeralds in Sonic and Knuckles, you can go hypersonic. The only game, I think, that I know of, that you can go hyper without ha having to hack. And it is just an interesting game, being able to do that. I still play it here and there. I played it the other day, actually. Um... So, yeah, that is my Sega Genesis collection. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching and please subscribe. Bye.